is up guys great Nader here welcome to another video and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit or basically just welcome to live editing i did one of these a long time ago and i did another one and i'm doing another one and you know it's very good practice for you guys that are learning how to edit and it's just you know i i, I think that a lot of you guys will agree with me when i say that seeing someone else do it is very helpful so Instead of using Camtasia today, today we'll be using Sony Vegas. So let's get right into it. Now, I'm going to be editing a video that I'll be making or uploading soon. And it's uh, about Black Ops 3 and it's just a simple commentary. But I'm going to be using Sony Vegas to edit this commentary. So uh, I'm going to start by importing the, uh, the clips and stuff. So here's my audio for uh, Black Ops 3. And I need to find the gameplay I'm going to use. That's in my videos, gameplay, uh, Black Ops 3, and I'm just going to open a random gameplay. And it should work. I don't know why uh, my media Windows Media Player doesn't like pick up when I click on the video, but that's a whole different story. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag the gameplay onto uh, the video settings. I'm going to hit yes. And uh, I recorded in 1080p 60 frames per second, so that's what it's gonna put uh, right here. So, as you can see, it's 59.98, you know, basically 60 frames per second. And this is the gameplay, it's pretty smooth, and it's Black Ops 3, right? So, now I'm gonna add the commentary itself, and then boom. So, what I ended up doing was recording the gameplay and recording everything I need, importing it, and right now. What I did is that I dragged the gameplay first because I want the gameplay to be the main source. Like I recorded 1080p 60 frames per second and if I would have put like the intro, my intro is 30 frames per second. If I would have put that first, it would have messed up the entire video. So uh, let's move on to actually adding the intro and the outro. And uh, that's in my videos as well. No, it's in my documents, YouTube. And let's see. Uh, let's do new intro and outro. Well, I might just skip the outro. I, the outro is not really important to me anymore. I put it in some of my videos, but I think I'm just going to stop doing that because, you know, it doesn't make sense. So um, here's the intro. We're going to plug in the gameplay here. We're going to just start it when it starts like that. That way it starts up right away. And we're going to edit the audio for uh, this composition here. And what I mean by edit is that when I record and I'm done talking, I do cut commentary. So what that means is that I cut up my commentary so that it, it flows in one piece. So when I'm recording, like right here, as you can see, I'm talking and talking, then I just quiet down and I talk again. And that way I'm letting myself know when I'm editing that that's what I need to cut out. So like right there's about my what's up guys. And then right there there it ends and you you can just guesstimate a good rule of thumb as to like as you can see here the actual my voice stops there but I give it a couple of frames so that way if I have like an s or I pronounce something it, you can still hear it and same thing for this uh, give it some time like that and that way if you come here you can see there's like this little dead line, but that's okay. You hardly notice it when you're listening to it. So um, we're going to scroll through here and this way. And I'm pretty sure that was just me talking, talk, 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 talk. And then here, and then we're going to split through that, split that. Not too much. Remember, not too much. And then we're going to put these together. Now, I'm using a Blue Yeti, so I'm looking for my headphones right now. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear what's going on on my computer. Because when I use my Blue Yeti, my Blue Yeti becomes the speaker. So, um, let's go to scroll. We're going to scroll over here. And uh, let's just go through here. I think I stopped talking here. I'm not pretty sure. So what I'm going to do is just gonna play it back a little real quick. It feels just like Black Ops 2, just with like a bit more, I don't know, um, advanced warfare type thing, you know? So as you can see, I was about to cut that out, but I saw that I was actually speaking there. So I'm going to zoom in like that. 
get that delete this empty space put that next to it and then i think i stopped talking here let me just check real quick big they're like medium sized and exactly the way they should be yeah i stopped talking there and as you can see i said the way they should be and it, it look it seems like it ends there but if i cut it there it would sound horrible so you leave a little bit of space so that way if you have a leftover pronunciation you can still hear it and it won't sound choppy so uh, I'm pretty sure this here is um, continuation call don't even know but yeah it's continuation it didn't stop as you can see here since there's a long extended period of time where I'm not talking that's when I know where I need to cut so I think I left a little bit too much and there we go you can always test it out good now the score is see how it just flows it's faster it's better it sounds better to be honest I like it and just kind of do the same thing put that there put that there now keep in mind as you're watching the video I'm not going to completely like shorten the video because I feel that if I did I'd be taking taking away from um, some of the videos like lessons and stuff so you're gonna have to just edit with me or just watch me if you're bored I guess so here we go we're gonna on just fun experience now again I'm not so as you can see I can take a little bit more off of this so I'm going to do exactly that and scoot that forward experience now again I'm not gonna and same thing actually I'm gonna take that out there we go now again I'm not gonna pin this up on uh, so there we go and then towards the end you can do that and then kind of like fade it out a little and that's pretty much it with your audio and as you can see I held shift and I clicked from let me just un from here hold shift to the top and you can select everything so we're gonna just gonna excuse me I'm burping all the time I don't know why Every time I'm recording, burp, 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 burp. It makes me like restart the entire gameplay and stuff. All right, so back on topic. As you can see, I moved the uh, the audio right in front of the gameplay. So right as I start uh, the intro, the intro ends, I start talking. So here's an issue that I have that most of you probably don't even know how to fix, or if you do, it's not that apparent. So um, when you're uh, when you when you got the intro, dun 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 dun, right? So as you can see here where it says volume and pan, the volume is normal. So the gameplay is going to be very, very loud and they're not going to be able to hear you. And that's not what you want. You want to lower down the gameplay. So if you do this, if you lower down the um, slider here, you're not going to hear the intro. And that's not what you want. So you want to change this back to zero. If I can get it at zero. Hey, I, I can't get it. I'm just going to type in zero. And then what you do is that you basically just turn down the gain until you can hear it. And I'm going to turn it all the way down because I'm going to use background music. Or what you could do is hit Control U on Windows, don't know what it is on Mac, and just completely delete the audio for it. And then let's just take a little look at it. Uh, let's not do the entire intro because that might be a little bit boring. Ooh, what is up guys, Grenady here, welcome to another... And as you can see there, I just keep on talking and talking and talking and talking. And I just want to make sure my gameplay is okay, so I'm going to mute this layer so that way you don't have to hear me talk. And I'm just going to stare at the little preview screen over here. And I have it on preview and I have it on auto. So that way, no, no matter what, I'm seeing um, not the best resolution, but what actually it's going to what it's going to look like. So as you can see, like I was talking about in the in this video that I'm editing right now, the lag on the PC beta version of Black Ops 3 was real, real, real bad. But, you know, that's that whole different video, which you can watch after I post it. So um, the gameplay looks nice, but I wish it would, you know, it needs to look a little bit better. So what we're going to do is add some video effects, some color curves, and just drag it onto here. And what we're going to do is that we're gonna lighten up this. I'm gonna bring that up and bring this down. And uh, real quick, I have flux on and I can't really see the colors right, so I'm gonna disable that. So I can see like the darks and stuff. So um, 
I want to... I don't want to brighten it way too much, but I don't want to, like... I want to make it darker, if you know, know what I mean. Because I think that's about perfect. Because I want the darks to be dark and the lights to be light. So you can leave it like that, or you can just play around with it, depending on your gameplay, and just exit out of that. And it should apply to the entire gameplay. And look at that. Nice, crisp, and clear, right? So now we're going to unmute this because I want to see its entirety. And now I'm going to import another piece of gameplay because I'm out of gameplay. So Black Ops 3. I did this one already, so just open. Uh, wait for it to load completely. That's a rule of thumb because I always end up just tossing it in there. Just like a freaking piece of clothes in, in the washer and then it just messes up. And um, we're gonna let it do its thing. And bam, I'm gonna toss it onto here. I'm gonna shorten that to here because we don't need the entire gameplay. And actually, I wanna cut this first part because the first part of the gameplay is usually bad. So I'm just gonna put that in there, mix it, pull this back a little, uh, control U to undo the grouping, and then just delete the audio and same thing. As you can see, the gameplay is horrible here and really nice over here. So what we're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to do copy, you're going to go over here to second file or second clip, then you're going to do paste uh, event attributes. And as you can see, it's way, 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 way better now. And it's just consistent. And a little something I would do right now is add RSMB or uh, motion blur to it. But since it's already in 60 frames per second, I think that would be way too smooth. That would be like watching the gameplay at 100 frames per second, which is way too smooth. And uh, some of you guys actually told me that it was way too smooth. So uh, a little something I just noticed we could do is that we can select our bottom audio. Since we deleted the audio that was here, we can just bump that up. And we have this open layer here that we can use to our advantage. Now, I'm going to use a ba some background music, um, Runaway Remake. Um, I'll leave a link to the song in the description down below if you want to check that out. But uh, I have on YouTube, sub I'm subscribed to a bunch of people that do uh, free copyright, copyright free music and stuff like that. And I highly recommend that you guys should check these people out. You know, just type in copyright free. You guys probably know uh, copyright free or what's it called? No copyright. I don't NCS something like that no copyright sounds and there's like a bunch of other people that do that too so you know there's not just a certain person so what I decided to go let's just get back on topic here I decided to choose this song because it was really short and my commentary is actually pretty long and I wanted to do this on purpose so you guys could see what to do in a situation like this so you could either drag the audio like this and have it just horribly just stop in the middle of nowhere and just do that right and uh, as you can see here I'm gonna zoom in a little right here where the cursor is as you can see there's like a little W or a little like chip like a little thing you, you see it you see it it's like a little hole and that's telling you hey here's where the song actually ends and beyond this point is just duplicated so you want to stop it there uh, pull it back down again uh, trim this first part of complete silence and trim this of complete silence as well and it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of it or way too much it doesn't really matter uh, but what you want to do is just kind of mix them like that so that way it like softly just changes and you can't even tell the difference and you do control C and copy and then control V and paste and after that you just copy and paste and just do it until your gameplay is over and bam doesn't even matter if it's like starting up again you just do that fade it out and then bam but a little problem you might run into again is that you don't know how to lower the volume again and you're you don't want to lower the gain every single time so like i said the advantage of moving the audio up was to have this extra layer now if you don't have that extra layer because you have gameplay of course, just drag it onto here, onto the bottom, and make a brand new layer. But we don't need to do that. So we're going to listen to it, and then we're going to gradually lower the, uh, the sound of the audio using the slider. And we're using the slider now because I don't want to individually turn down the gain. This will 
t uh, turn down the audio for everything in that layer. So let's start listening to what I'm saying and then just lower the uh, audio accordingly. Ooh, what is up guys, Grenade here, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the Black Ops 3 beta, how good it was, and how I think the game is going to come out. So, I probably think that by the time this video is up, the beta is already over for all consoles and all systems, all platforms, but what I didn't know, so I played it on the PC, the gameplay, if you haven't noticed already, isn't the best because, I don't know, I think it was just a PC thing, I've been seeing console beta, it was very, very, very fun, I loved it, the game seems new, it's different, and it feels just like Black Ops 2, just with like a bit more, I don't know, um, advanced warfare type thing, you know, it's, it's futuristic, it's futuristicer than Black Ops 2, I know that's not a word, but... Alright guys, so I got it just the way I want it. I was listening to it through my headphones and I like the way it sounds and it's pretty nice and crisp. So um, now, like I said, I don't really add outros. I'm just going to let the video end by itself. And um, other than that, you're pretty much done. There's not much to it if it's just a normal commentary. But if you're making a special video, like a review or whatnot, then you should put a lot of work into that because the work really pays off. What I'm going to do now is just a little extra, little icing on the top. I'm going to import my logo. I usually don't do this because the gameplay that I use doesn't, it just doesn't look good. So, but I'm just doing this to show you guys how to do it. So, uh, let me talk about it. This is my logo that goes on the corner and it has my name on it and stuff like that. So, you just drag that onto a brand new layer and then you just drag the layer on top of everything and it should show up on the top. Now what you want to do is you want to make it smaller because you don't want it, you don't want it to be like this, wait, let me show you. You don't want it to be like this big, don't you, so you just want to make it kind of small, not too small, just noticeable or unnoticeable actually. And you can put this anywhere and you just drag it out like that if it gets too small or cut out like that. And I think it looks better on the top in this case and then you just kind of do that and make it bigger um, and I'm actually just gonna move the cursor because I can't see it all and bam just you know small and unnoticeable and the level basically is the opacity or you can just turn down the opacity here which I prefer to use a little slider because you know I'm me and me is awesome and as you can see if you want you can go to best full and just kind of take a, a gander at it and how it would look once it's completely done so it looks pretty good music is good everything is done and that's pretty much it not too long of a video well the video might have been super long but um this video is just eight minutes long as you can see there's ghosting i'd love to put some motion blur on it but i'm holding back because i think that too much motion blur too much frames like too much of anything is bad so we're gonna stick with 60 and we're just gonna render it real quick and something I did by accident is that when I clicked render and I have two render settings I have this one and I'm pretty sure I have another one with uh, at 7 it's 1080p as well but it's not 60 frames per second so I'm just gonna check this to make sure it is indeed and it is indeed 60 frames per second I'm gonna change this to blops 3 and then just hit render and after that we're done now we just wait for the video to be over so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like down below if you learned something make sure to smack that subscribe button and as always i'll see you in the next video peace out